Hello, welcome to Mona Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at creating a single asset Unity package. In this session, we're going to be looking at a folder structure. Uh, we're also going to look at creating a prefab and then exporting that prefab and all of the connections with it. So with that, let's jump in. Uh, here we have a, a space that I have open. It's basically a template, but I've added a couple of assets that we can use for our examples today. Uh, some of these will be the portals that we just had in regards to the portal competition, not the hub challenge, but the portals. I'm also going to look at a couple of other assets that I've created that we can uh, update into the library so people can have access to those. We're going to be using Kyle Hammond's stained glass portal that won the portal competition. Anyone who wants to submit assets to the Mona library will have to go through this Unity package process. What you need to do is if you're creating a portal, uh, it's best if we actually make it a portal. What we'd like to see is uh, portal prefab underscore name of the portal underscore and uh, initials of the artist. Like the name of the portal to be the name of the portal. Uh, we have the spawn point as always, and then you have all of your assets in the file. So basically we have a, a, an example of a portal. Now notice how I've put this example at uh, 0, 0, 0 with no rotation. So if we do that and we make a prefab, this is what the prefab will be. So we'd like to do that as well. When it comes to how we're organizing the objects in our library, for now, we're sort of going with the following. As we want to make sure that if people download an asset that it doesn't override other people's assets, uh, basically we want the following library asset, which I changed from what I'm doing in the project folder here. <laughs> we have the underscore Mona library, then we have portals. Under that we have your name, and under that we have a folder with all of the assets, uh, and then next to that we have the prefab. To create a prefab that we can export as a Unity package, we basically need to grab this item with the left mouse button, not the portal, the actual total thing, not this one because we need to keep that, so it's just this one, and then drag that into your named folder, and that will create a prefab. Now notice how the box is a little different from the model type, which is that one. So it has a little white side there and a line there. So that is a model and has a mesh and things like that, whereas the blue box is a prefab. So that's a portal. Now, the other thing I would like to do, so I'm going to get rid of that one, is I'm going to be releasing a, uh, my cinema chair and a speaker that I've made. Now, in this case, my object actually has a material which I have applied, selecting the model and then materials tab. When I exported it from Blender, I, I applied a material so I can actually put this here. So every time that I add it, it will be textured already. So we have our uh, speaker. So I'm going to put the object in 000, added the material that I've made with the textures. So I've got a material, sorry, here. Um, it has the diffuse, the metallic, and the normal. So that's basically all of the assets there. Let's go over here. Now I'm going to create the zero where I want the zero. And I think that's a good place because some people might put it up, some people might put it down. So for this one, I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, the speaker is set correctly has all those files, we close those, and drag the object into where we want to create the prefab, such as your named folder. Original prefab, and there we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could create these as static, and then go override, apply all, and then all of them are set to static. So, prefab's super useful. Uh, the last one I'm just going to quickly add as a cinema chair, so let's have a quick look at that. So this one, uh, as you can see, is a bit more complicated. The reason I split the side off is because if I'm doing a full row, I can duplicate that. 
uh, put that there and then we have a closed option there. So this is basically a more modular approach, but it does have two pieces. And in our, let's say for example, our asset, I want to create one object. Now, once again, this has one material. Now all of the assets for your space can go in here. Create the parent object, put it in there, make that zero, 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 so that looks good and then drag and drop to chairs. And we have our cinema chair. Um, if we do cinema chair underscore zero one and somebody else makes the same thing, that would override this prefab. This is why I said the naming that we made earlier in the video and I'll keep to that. So make sure to pay attention to the uh, Mona library page to make sure that you have the right folder structure so we don't override anybody else's assets. Uh, that way, if I grab any object from the library, I can import it into this situation. So we have our chairs, the Mad Empire, and done. Now, the last thing we need to do after we have created our prefabs is to make the make the unity package. Now this is the easiest part. So we can basically go to our prefab, right mouse click, and then go export package. Now, as you can see, it will keep the folder structure. And this is why I'm designing the folder structure as it is. So if I download a bunch of assets from the Mona library, it won't override other people's or your own for that matter. So in this case, we have Mona Library, Furniture, Chairs, The Man Empire, Assets, which are all the assets, and Cinema Chair underscore zero one. And then we can go Export. Let's just keep this local. So save that. And there we go. And that is our package. And that is what we would have you uh, submit for the library. Let's do the same with this one. Export package. Once again, it's all in there. Uh, now down here we have include dependencies. So this makes sure that everything is connected. For our portal, same thing again. Export package. Now this one will include the spawn point from the own assets. So if we ever update that, um, this might override that. So, uh, but that should be fine. Um, once again, Mona library portals, name, asset, and prefab export. But there. Um, so uh, that should be our packages. Now, of course, if you use these assets, you could probably downgrade the textures. So for example, on my thing, these are 2000. You could probably take that down to 1000, uh, depending on how many and how big, things like that. Hopefully that helps create Unity packages. Uh, we'll be looking at that in, for the library moving forward. And then we will keep growing that as we go. And happy building. <laughs>